Hey there YouTube and uh, welcome to another FX Channel House tutorial. Uh, on this Cinema 4D tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Drowsy uh, to break objects and let it be empty on the inside. So I'm, I'm sure that you see a lot of Drowsy tutorials out there but I'm also positive sure that no one explains you how to break that object and let it be empty on the inside. So um, I figured out a way uh, to do it and I'm just uh, sharing uh, this with you guys. So um, also, on this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the emitter uh, to fill that object and let it uh, broken uh, when it's done. So, I um, hope you enjoy this tutorial and I uh, hope you follow along. So, uh, it's going to be a cool tutorial from FX in the house. So, let's jump on that. Alright guys, so uh, in order for us to get this kind of animation, it's uh, really easy. So, uh, let's jump on a new project. Um, on this new project, let's put up a MoGraph text there. And on this MoGraph text, I'm going to choose the letter F and put the font to Typograph Pro. Uh, it's a cool font to use for this kind of animation. So um, I'm going to increase a little bit of depth uh, of, of, the, of the font so that we can have a space for the, the spheres and all that. And uh, that should be cool. And also I'm going to increase uh, the full size the full size of the, um, of the font so that, that we can have a bigger object to work out. So um, that should be OK. Just increase a little bit this uh, should be good. Alright, so um, in order for us to start breaking this up and start uh, using that cool trick uh, to get uh, the objects uh, empty inside, uh, it's very easy. So um, I'm just going to uh, hit uh, this to edit the object. I'm going to the object. I'm going to here. I'm going to hit C. And then I'm going to choose all these guys and connect objects and delete. Alright. Uh, now that we have your, our object to work out uh, and edit it, uh, we, we have to do some things over here so so that uh, what can I say so that the techniques uh, the thickness will work out okay. So what you need to do, you're going to to the point mode, you're going to select all, you're going to mesh, command, and optimize this. Let's click OK. Okay. Uh, right now the font uh, or the text and all the polygons are all together. So um, it's better to work out this way. So uh, we're going to grab our text. I'm going to put on simulate cloth and cloth nerves. I'm going to press Alt and make it a child. Make it a child of uh, of the cloth nerves. So uh, uh, and now now we're getting it. So um, on the subdivisions, we don't need subdivisions. We only need thickness for this. So I'm going to increase the thickness about to about to seven, seven, eight. Uh, eight is okay. So that we can have like uh, that kind of thickness over here, uh, as you see, um, to the font, and um, we are okay to to start to breaking this up and uh, working it out. So um, on this cloth nerves, we're going to click on cloth nerves, cloth nerves uh, right click, and the current state to object, and and this way we have our object edited uh, without working always with uh, the cloth nerves. So uh, I'm going to select this uh, Alt G. And I'm going to hide this object so uh, so that that we can work only with this with this one. That should be okay. So uh, I'm going to select this. Everything is ready to to start uh, working with it with Trousy now. So um, uh, once you go to the plugins, plugins, hit Trousy, Trousy. All right. And then on the Trousy plugin, we have to do a few things over here. So um, I'm going to take this off and I'm going to put keep original object. And I'm going to Voronoi, and now I'm going to also leave this on a keep original object. And now I'm going to choose the, the pieces that, that I want to, to break this up. So I'm, I'm not going to break this up with a lot of pieces so, uh, so that we can make this fast. And that uh, should be like on 31. So uh, you have your text selected, and you can break this now. Uh, once uh, this set, this should be quite fast. That's OK. And these are the colors for the, the inside and, and the outside, but you, you should probably know it already. And then this is it. So uh, if you press play, you see that your text is already, uh, how can I say, with that thickness and the, the object is, uh, is empty on the inside. So um, the part of breaking the trousy uh, with an empty, empty, how can I say, space inside is this 
the trick is like to put the I can say the cloth nerves and get the thickness of it and then um, make it just one object uh, go to go to plugins and make it on the on the trousy uh, but don't don't forget to put uh, how can I say it on the trousy don't for God, uh, press Z <laughs> okay on the trousy don't forget to put uh, this with a keep original object take this off and um, on the Voronoi also keep original object so so that that you can have uh, that uh, object how can I say uh, empty on the inside so um, this is it so we're ready to, to start uh, putting our emitter and all that uh, but first thing we're going to put um, I can say we're going to put a floor on this and I'm going to put uh, simulation tags uh, collider body so um, if you press play now you see that your object uh, breaks and um, it's uh, it's that it's with that thickness uh, you can put the, the thickness uh, less or more uh, uh, as you want it uh, but um, a lot of people and also me I work a lot with nitroblast to, to get that kind of uh, can I say of thickness and um, and also uh, Trousy can do it but uh, I never saw any tutorials on that uh, on the internet so um, I decided to make one so uh, all right um, uh, for continuing to continue our thing uh, we just need to put it in meter inside and uh, fill it with a bunch of spheres and uh, it's done so let's go to simulate on particles let's put an emitter and on this emitter let's drag in inside of the F let's go to our front front view and just put this on the right scale I'm going to decrease this a little bit should be good and this also a little bit like this that should be good and on here on top I'm going to drag it down to the center and should be okay so um, if you press play you see that uh, uh, can I say the emitter is emitting on this side uh, but that should be good so uh, what we need to do is just bring up a sphere and uh, decrease this a little bit like about seven eight six about eight is cool and just put this a child of the of the emitter so um, if you go backwards and if you press play you you don't see the spheres uh, because the emitter also have uh, some settings that you have to adjust so I'm going to put on show objects and uh, render instances uh, so that you can uh, when you render your animation the, the spheres will be rendered so um, this is the bitrate editor and the renderer uh, if you increase this and if you increase this also um, how can I say um, if you put this to 20 and if you put this to to about uh, 10 you're only going to see on the render 10 so um, you have to put this like about about 100 near to 100 that should be good for this animation and uh, what your how can I say what your emitter is dragging uh, is what you're going to render so uh, <coughs> always make sure that you have um, all these two combined so uh, on the speed I'm going to put this a little bit uh, more fast so that, that we can fill our object uh, sooner and if you see your emitter is already emitting uh, the spheres but um, they don't have dynamics they don't have nothing so uh, what we need to do on this part it's also quite easy you only have to put a uh, rigid body and uh, <coughs> sorry and if you press play you see that your spheres are falling to the floor and colliding to the floor and all that so um, it's, it's getting okay so um, what you also need to do here uh, is just a few tricks <coughs> just grab um, uh, the, the the tag from the the trousy and uh, let's say that we're going to put this on 65 um, and on here uh, we go to the dynamics uh, let's set this on okay and let's uh, control click and let's put a keyframe over here and on this keyframe is going to put this on off let's control again uh, control again and click and uh, let's bring this backwards and if you press play you see that um, I can say it's putting on this view uh, you see that um, the emitter is already filling the object and it is working it out and uh, and when it gets to the 65 and you go into 
to break up uh, with the rest of the text. So um, let's just increase a little bit uh, the size of the of the video to 150 about. That should be cool. So we can see this better. If you press play, uh, you see that uh, the spheres uh, are filling the object, and uh, when the object breaks, uh, the spheres uh, the spheres goes goes with the object. So. Um, what you're going to do now, uh, you're going to increase a little bit, uh, how can you say, you're going to put the emitter uh, with a little bit of more byte rate the render, a more byte rate editor, and a little bit of more speed, so that we can fill the object faster until we get uh, the 65 frames. So uh, what we're also going to do on the emitter, uh, you're going to uh, when the, the object breaks, uh, the emitter will stop uh, of emitting so that um, you don't stay with the spheres uh, continuing emitting and uh, all the spheres go down with the, with the text. So that, that is quite easy. When you get on the 65, you're going to stop emission and just put it on 65. And uh, you don't need to put any keyframes because um, it is as simple as it is. So you, you can start your emission uh, anytime you want and uh, stop it anytime you want. So when you bring backwards and you press play, the spheres are inside emitting. Uh, and when it breaks, it breaks with the text. So um, it's a quite easy animation to do. And um, how can I say, with, uh, with this uh, technique uh, of, uh, of using uh, Trousy to, to, blow, uh, to blow your pieces, uh, with the empty thing, it's a really cool thing that uh, that I found here on Cinema 4D. So uh, I just wanted to share this with you guys, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this tutorial. So um, make your things, make your object moves, make your animations. Uh, just uh, send me a link so I can see them, um, the things that you do for my tutorials, and I uh, hope you enjoy all uh, what we are doing here at FX Runa House. So. Um, Hope to see you on the next tutorial, and I uh, hope to see you soon, so uh, cheers guys!